PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all yeah, see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk. Murder Mook versus Lloyd Banks. This is funny to me. Um, first of all, I did not know that Mook has been saying certain things about Lloyd Banks. Um, if you live on the rock, well, last couple well, yesterday, pardon me, I saw a post last night, and somebody had somebody educated me and said this was not the first time Mook has made this comment. Um, first, let's go here. After the Big K battle, Murder Mook did put out a post of of Big K allegedly taking some bars or switching some bars around from a um, un unknown battle rapper, and Mook has said labeled it as stealing. For the most part, I don't see too many people talking about it too much. I I, I saw it a couple times. Did I think Big K? Stole a bar. I don't feel that way. Maybe I'm bugging. I don't know. But I know people who felt Mook won the battle and still feel he was reaching with the comment about Big K still in the bar. And these are people who picked Murder Mook, to, to, who had Murder Mook beating Big K. So Mook saying that he was on a podcast and said that um the boy won the PLK Punchline King, Lloyd Banks, Blue Hefner, took two of his lines, I guess. Is that the first time he's, he's done this? He said, here's my thing, Mook. If you're going to go in that bag, and if it's true, allegedly if it's true, sir, you can't, that's like calling someone a snitch. You got to show paperwork. You got to give him some type of, of evidence on why you put in smut on this person's name. Which is hip hop. Like saying someone, bitch, I, I'm from, sorry, I'm from a different level. When you say somebody buying your lines, that's nasty work. I know some of y'all get on Jay-Z or you, even though I keep telling y'all, you got, I'm big enough my borough, I'm big enough to do it. He's kept big his name alive and he handled it. Right? So, when Mook is saying that Banks took a couple of his lines and then you're not telling us why, it's reminiscent of Melly Mel who takes shots at Kendrick Lamar, but then sits there and say he's never paid a Kendrick Lamar album. That's weird to me. Fam, you gotta give us some proof, Mook. You can't just come out and come out there and say that with no concrete evidence. And, and, and respectfully, Mook, in battle rap and hip hop, there is people out here who catch on to stuff like that. Now, me, I play both sides of the fence of battle rap and hip hop. I need a line, Mook. Lloyd Banks has come out and said that is cap. That's all he said. I don't know. If Banks feels a way about that, is he chuckling in the background? You know, him and Mook probably cool or whatever. I don't know, but it's just, you know, I need some proof. I'm not saying, and let me say this also. I'm not sitting here saying that hip-hop guys who are in the hip-hop industry don't watch battle rap and then they don't take bars. It, it probably has happened numerous times, you know? So I'm not saying it cannot happen, but I need proof, brother. We know Banks watches Battle Rap Heavy or Conway, Ransom, RJ Payne, Royce the 5'9, Crooked Eye. A lot of rappers watch Battle Rap. You know what I mean? And they probably have fine tuned some lyrics they heard a battle rapper say. And they feel that their audience probably not tapped into what's going on. But we need proof though in this in this in this one, Mook. We need proof. And battle rappers take lines. From dudes in the hip hop industry, yes, they have also. Let's call it what it is. This shotgun should get chastised for taking Jada Kiss whole thing and people going crazy about that. We see that. Mook, you gotta show us some lines, bro. We, I mean, Mook, you, Mook, come on. And the thing, Mook, man, the thing with you, brother, is first when Tay Rock battle, you said you had some audio and you still didn't give us the audio, even though if it's some crazy stuff, I don't care about the audio. I, Listen, I'm not busting rhymes who's at Summer Madness, at Summer Madness asking, smacking them to leave the Summer Jam screen while Calico and them was. <clears throat> Sorry, Buster. I, I, I never understood why you got. Leave it up, smack. Leave what up, bro? That's, that's, come on, Buster. 
But we need concrete evidence, Mook. This, I mean, and no, please don't tell me y'all because now Mook said this about Banks that some of y'all out here want to see murder Mook versus Lloyd Banks. I don't want to see that. No, thank you. No bueno. More good in my Jamaican voice. I don't want to see that. I, shout out to Banks, but I don't want, I don't want to see hip hop industry dudes under the underground or mainstream. Come to battle rap. Uh, Joe Budden's my guy, but I wasn't crazy when Joe came over here. I mean, I'm interested, interested a little bit. But I, if you've been following me for a while, I'm not the dude that's clamoring for hip hop dudes to come over here and battle. I'm just not. It, it, I, Papoose, I rock with Pap and them dudes, but I, I don't want to see them dudes come over here and, and, and battle. You know what I mean? Like, Lloyd Banks, they. I mean, the dude that said, I F my chick with a condom and a birth control patch? That guy, I, man, Mook. Man, only hood stripes you have in this Yankee jersey? This is like, like I disrespect niggas, call men, ladies. Like, where I'm from, the gun go off like M80s. Tim's all year, black, white, and gravy. Like, that's Banks, my dude. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, this is PLK. Mook, to me, you jumping out the window on that one, brother. I mean, come on, man. It's more than one hoe. Sit back and blow me and argue over my balls like Shaq and Kobe. Like, oh, man. All that fronting is bad for your health. You ain't got no boat. We said you ain't got no boat. You got you ain't got no yacht. You got a boat that you got to paddle yourself. Like, Mook, I'm surprised you did that, though. You would say that. And if, if, if it's true... We just need the evidence, Mook. That's all I want to see is the concrete evidence of Lloyd Banks taking two of your lines. Did, did he even say the lines on the podcast that he took? Because that would have been the question I would ask him if I'm interviewing Mook. Like, dog, what's good? And, and this is no shade to Mook because y'all think I hate Mook. Mook FaceTimed me the other day. You know, Mook, who y'all think got at me because I don't know one of his balls and everything like that. He still respect my respect me to a full degree. Well, the brother FaceTimed me just last week and we're talking about his battle with um, Big K. And, and, so, and I met Mook at uh, Chrome 23, took a picture, chopped it up the whole nine. It's not not that deep. Y'all go with this hate thing. No one hates these people, bro. It's not that serious, bro. You meet Mick Cassidy, there's no hate. Y'all think Mick Cassidy, there's no hate. Arsenal had work. Arsenal called me a B I T C H. He did all that on Joe Budden podcast. And still, we seen each other in Miami two weeks ago. That did up. No, nothing. It ain't, it don't be, it's not that deep how y'all think it, it, it is, though. You know what I mean? But my thing is this, man. If you're going to say, and Mook, here's the thing. Now you got people saying that you looking, looking, looking kind of crazy. Like, you know, it's like you don't want to take a loss to Big K. Now you're saying this. Like, I would like to know the particular line that Lloyd Banks took for Mook, and you know Banks ain't gonna, he's not gonna go on Instagram live and do an interview and for press, he's, he's not gonna be that guy to do that at all, that, that's just Banks to me, he barely does interviews, album drop, Banks, I, I, Banks man, for real dog, I would love to talk to Banks man, Banks, I promise you brother, watch this man, cause you know, we go back and forth sometimes, shout out to Cartoon Beats, one of your producers, I rock up with Cartoon Beats, Banks, you know what it is over here man, you know what it is, I, Banks, I would give you a five mic interview, Banks. A five mic interview because I'm talking strictly hip hop. It's going to be strictly hip hop. Yes, you might not want to talk about the G Unit days and everything, Banks. I can't let that. I have to ask you about the G Unit days. I got to ask you about High 97 freestyles. I would love to talk to Lloyd Banks that were dope. Hip hop conversation with Lloyd Banks about music, just strictly music. Banks, you see me on on B dots on Instagram live with B dot. You see how I give it up, Banks. Yeah, you know I mean, but you know some and let's be real. Banks watches battle rap, right? So some of y'all might oh he probably did it because he watched a lot of battle rap. That doesn't necessarily mean that because somebody watches battle rap that they have to go take somebody's bars and everything like that and. Mook, respectfully, it could have been coincidence too, Mook. It's not like you battle all the time, Mook. 
Respectfully, Bank ba still watches Battle Rap if you're here or not. You're not here all the time. And as, as people to put you in the God of Sea, Mook, you know, sometimes you're out of sight of mind because you're not outside that much. But leave comments on the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think about Murder Mook saying Banks took a couple of his bars, man. It's your boy, three. One.